Hey, my wild animals. Welcome to Zebra Tarot. You are now in the Zebra Tarot Lounge. And if you found this or if this found you, chances are there are messages in here for you. If it sounds like I'm talking directly to you, directly to your soul, then I very well could be. My intention is that these readings reach exactly whoever they need to reach, exactly the times that they need to reach them for the best and highest good of all involved. So my beautiful divine zebras, my unicorns, my kings and queens, my lions, my tigers, my bears, we are now going home to the kingdom of heaven within, to the new earth. And where we're going is so beautiful. It's beautiful beyond words. It's in a whole new higher dimension. We're heading there right now. Jesus himself said, the kingdom of heaven is within, it's within you. It's within myself. It's within each and every one of you. You all have your own personal address for where we're going. Whatever those dreams, those hopes, those wishes, those desires that are inside of you, that you have been there since a child. Whatever lights you up inside. It's important to know what those desires are because that's your kingdom of heaven within. Where we're going is so beautiful, so much better. Before I get started, well, first of all, just know that there's some really good energies coming in, some good, happy changes, a lot of victory coming in. There's someone watching here uh, real quick. Low self-esteem has brought you to some low places recently or perhaps over the last few years, some low places that you thought you would never see. Maybe you don't even like looking yourself in the mirror anymore, which is understandable. This world that we live in, this very upside down, inverted, fear-based, illusion-based world that we've lived in has really trashed people's self-esteem and has made us feel worthless and stuck and like slaves and things like that. And I just want to say to you, get up, see the light in you. You are divine. You are wild. You are divine. You are not your choices. You are not your regrets. You are not your failures. God, Yahweh is with you right now. You may need to make peace with the past. You may need to learn how to let go of the past, but prepare to let it go. You are not alone. The I am is with you. I challenge you just to heal and be healed. Just know, yes, you, that's you all as well. Your best days are right here. And especially as we move to this new earth or far more than you could ever ask, think, hope, or imagine. All is well. All right, with that being said too, there's uh, getting the big energy of victory and success coming in. Um, here, in about a week from now, um, I think you're going to feel a very powerful shift energetically within you. Our hearts right now are the, over this next week or so, they will be being cleansed, sort of washed, purified with water, but, um, giving a lot of purification energy. Um, you may want to clean your house, open up some windows, get some fresh air moving through there. Kind of like spring cleaning and also the same process will be happening within us as well too, as our hearts are being washed. I'm getting that they're going to be sort of shocked, like at the doctor, like electrocuted brought back to life a lot of us our hearts have grown cold or maybe we feel dead inside or maybe just we kind of lost the luster of life very understandable but i'm getting that our hearts are going to be turned on again and activated in a beautiful way coming up very soon here especially over the month of august and just wait about a week from now Think you're going to feel a very powerful shift. Go ahead and get started here with a couple of verses and then I'll get into the cards and we'll see. 
what messages they have for us. All right, the first one that came out uh, during the pre-read, the meditation was uh, James 1.12. You all are royalty, I'm telling you, mighty beautiful, divine unicorns, zebras, my kings and queens, if you all are watching this. James 1.12, blessed is a wild animal who remains steadfast under trial for when they have stood the test, they will receive the crown of life, which God has promised those who love them. So I'm gonna need you all to straighten your crowns real quick. Wear them proudly, open up your crowns. Just know that you are royalty. You are inheriting this new earth. Abundance is your birthright. You are infinite. And you can have all things. If you can imagine it, you can have it. Jesus said, Whatsoever you ask for in prayer, believe you have received it and you will receive it. Whatever you can imagine, you can have it, especially those dreams, those hopes, those wishes, those desires that have been inside of you since a child. Those are meant to be expressed and you can have it. You are infinite. Next up was the movie, The Never Ending Story. Uh, that's important for, I think, um, any of you watching this, maybe for somebody specific, but uh, this movie is very powerful right now. There's messages in there. If you watch it, I believe it makes sense for you. I think we're being called to watch it if you so choose. And finally, we have Jeremiah 29, 11 for I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope in the future. Y'all, I'm telling you, if y'all are watching this, the future is so beautiful. You may have been feeling like things happened to you, but um, things actually have been happening for you. You are loved, you are protected, you are guided at all times. Whether you can see that or not depends on where you are at in the spirit at the time. But you, if you can't see that right now, you are still loved, you are still protected, and all is well. All right, with that being said, I'll go ahead and get started here. We'll pull some cards, we'll see what messages we got um, for my beautiful, lovely wild animals, whoever is watching right now, yes, you. All right, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, the highest white light. Can I get three cards, please? Three cards for my beautiful zebras, my unicorns. All right, Ooh, seven of swords. All right, first card, spades, I made swords, seven of swords. Holy Spirit, guardian angels of the highest white light. Six of pentacles, diamonds, I made pentacles. Pentacles are uh, very earthly, tangible things, especially concerning money and things like that. Very practical, earthly things. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, Eye Twilight. All right, we got the Three of Cups. Hearts, I made cups, emotions, Three of Cups. Y'all, I don't know if it's gonna come out, but uh, I was getting the Six of Wands. Um, I found that outside when I was walking in the middle of the street right in front of me. This is victory success. And that also came out during the period as well too. So I don't know if it's going to come out this time, but let's see. Just know that good things are coming in the month of August over this next week. Prepare to have your hearts just turn back on again. If you've been feeling like Like maybe you forgot how to fill. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels of the Highest White Light. One more card, please. One card for the overall energy for my beautiful divine kings and queens, my unicorns, my ooh. All right, overall energy, the four of cups. All right, let's see what we got here. I'll go ahead and pull some clarifiers too in just a moment.
All right, Sport of Cups here. You may be feeling uh, overall energy, maybe a little bit of stalled or stuck lately. Not recognizing the opportunities are right in front of you. Getting just a disappointed energy, kind of like you've been trying and trying and doing all the right things and believing, praying, having faith, trying to be a good person, things like that. But um, maybe you feel like every time you happen to get up, you get sort of knocked back down. That's kind of the energy that I'm getting right now for this overall energy. Seven of Swords here, this is some trickery or deception and you're missing somebody around you, someone, something. For a lot of us, this could be a job, but this also could be a person in your inner circle, someone very close to you too. Um, you all know what this is, Holy Spirit will confirm it to you. All the answers that you seek are within you. Ask and you shall receive, knock and the door shall be opened to you. Seek and you shall find. Tarot is a tool can be used for either good or for bad, depending on the intentions of the person doing it. I mean, be clear, this channel is of the light and only of the light. There's either a job or someone close to you that has been sort of distraining, sucking the life out of you and, and closing off your heart. Like it's been having us feel a little bit stuck. I'm not getting that energy exactly right now in this moment. But I feel like it takes up a major portion of your times. If that makes sense. Just know that you are not alone. I am is with you. Next up, this Six of Pentacles here. This is kindness, charity, receiving help. Could be physical help from, help from a person, a friend, someone around you. But I'm getting to definitely help from divine, most high. Hope is coming, change is coming. You don't have to do this on your own. Whatever is in your energy or around you, whoever that is or whatever that is, whether it's a job or a person draining you, sucking life out of you, you have help coming, you are not alone, all is well. This is joy, celebration. So I feel like this is kind of what's the aftermath of that, especially here as we move toward this next week, very powerful as our hearts are shocked and started again. Not literally, but I'm getting very much so spiritually. A little jump start from above. As above, so below, as within, so without. I'll go ahead and pull some clarifiers now here. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, the highest white light may have a card to clarify this. Four of Cups is feeling stalled or stuck. This overall energy. Yeah. All right. Hmm. Clarified by... Five of Cups here, this is some sorrow, some loss. Maybe the person watching that I was speaking to earlier about how um, low self-esteem has brought you to some low places in life you never thought you would see. Maybe this has had you feeling stalled or stuck, trapped. 
not seeing how you could ever make it out or get out or find your way out or you feel like maybe your bed is made and now you have to lie in it. That is not true. You may feel like you're swimming through murky waters and you can barely breathe. That's not true, it's gonna be okay. Whoever this is, whoever I'm speaking to, you are a very deep person. You feel you, the depths of your imagination is like the depths of the ocean. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, I'm gonna get one more clarifier for this, for this overall energy before I get to the others. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, the highest twilight. I have one more card, please, one more card to clarify this. Fortune Teller came out. This is, um, to me, the High Priestess card in the deck. Um, the High Priestess knows things, but doesn't speak on everything he or she knows. Maybe you're a unicorn. I'm getting just to ask, to pray. Ask for clarity, ask for guidance, ask to be shown the way and ye will receive. Seek and you will find, knock and the door shall be opened up to you. You are powerful. You have teams of angels just waiting on you for to give, for you to give them requests, but you have to speak, you have to, you are sovereign so they can't intervene unless you ask them to. I'm getting just to pray, to ask, to seek for clarity, for guidance. Your spiritual eyes and your spiritual ears will be open. You will be shown the way and you will know what to do. All right, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, the highest white light. May I have one card, please do clarify this Seven of Swords, this getting something is draining your energy, sort of like an energy vampire, This whether it's a job or a person, you will know. A lot of deception, monkey business, reindeer games. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels of the Highest White Light. One card, please, to clarify the Seven of Swords. One card, do clarify the Seven of Swords for my beautiful. This flew out and landed on top of it, the Archaeologist card. Again, she's, uh, you know, her to me is like connecting with your higher self or seeing with again with your spiritual eyes like the high priestess shining light on the situation to pray to ask to seek you will be illuminated so i'm getting here just to connect to the spiritual realm to pray to ask for your spiritual eyes your spiritual ears to be open eyes to see and ears to hear and you will be shown Whatever it is that you need to see, you will literally be shown with your spiritual sight. You will be made clear exactly what is going on and what you need to do about it. Light will be shown on the situation. And to the point of looking back later, you'll be like, whoa, that was like, I think you'll be amazed at just how much light will be shown on the situation, how accurately, how clearly. But you have to ask, pray, seek. All right, any other cards to clarify this? Thief. All right, the hairdresser card that landed right on top of that too. This to me is just, uh, again, another uh, third time's a charm, another card, another sign to connect with the spiritual realm. If you look there in the mirror, you cut. she's spending time with her angels, with, you know, the rainbow hair. That's kind of like the mirror to the spiritual realm. She's getting guidance, she's getting pampered, she's getting her, you know, her hair did and things like that. She's spending time, she's getting it all fixed up. So, Again, just the third call to connect with the divine, to pray, to seek, to find, to ask for answers, to ask 
for eyes to see and ears to hear and you will get the answers that you need. Your angels are there for you. All right, this six of pentacles is kindness, receiving help from another wild animal or receiving help from above from the divine. Help could come in so many ways. You don't have to worry about the how. All you have to do is just believe. Anytime we try to mess with the how, it kind of makes things harder and messes things up. You don't have to ever worry about the how. You just have to know to believe. So help can come in so many ways. Ways that you can't even yet imagine. All right, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels of the High Spotlight. One card, please, to clarify this. Six of Pentacles. Anything? Anything? This flew out. I'm getting to really with this, we're not meant to really know for sure. Like anytime we try to imagine how the help is gonna come, we kind of sort of limit ourselves. So I'm getting not to really focus on the how so much with this, but uh, this did come out. This is again, teamwork. As you receive help, uh, I think you're gonna be teaming up somehow for beautiful solutions also to Earlier, I was talking about the overall energy, how you maybe feel like you're swimming in murky waters and you can't breathe, you're having a hard time breathing. Also too, on this card, the same picture is like this person, this wild animal or whatever is swimming away towards calmer, clearer waters. Towards teamwork, maybe you're swimming towards another, whatever that is, it's going to be new for you. It's going to be Imaginary thing just working out so smoothly. More than you could ever ask, think, hope, or imagine. All right, uh, we have this three of cups here. This joy, celebration, friendship, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, the highest white light. One card to clarify this three of cups. Well, we have joy, we have celebration. And again, we have celebration, warm welcome, and a sense of community. So, more confirmation. I'm telling y'all, in August, amazing, beautiful, wonderful, lovely things are happening. We're being washed, and our hearts are being jump started again. One week from now, y'all are going to feel like totally different wild animals. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, Eyes, Spotlight. Any more cards? Any last cards that you have? you want to bring out to close off this reading anything else that we need to know love it two cups here this is love and attraction meant to be a commitment between two I'll try to show you all this real quick too. If looking across, we have our seven right here. Y'all see. We have a six, five, four, three, two. If y'all look at the reading that I did uploaded yesterday, talking about the final countdown that has been coming through a lot. And again, I'm not the only one, the only reader that's been picking up on this final countdown lately, but uh, I just saw that come through again. Seven, six, five, four, 
three, two. Big things are coming, y'all. If you're watching this, if you found this video, just be excited. Whatever it is that you desire in your heart. You have an incoming friendship, uh, commitment. Perhaps a new job, a new partner, a new romantic interest. I'm not sure it would be different for all of you, but uh, this is definitely... A commitment, love and attraction. You have joy, celebration coming in. On this card here, if you look at her face, she's blissful. She's living her best life. Not a care in the world. To enter this kingdom of heaven, we have to become like little children again. So do we have to have that child like faith? Alright, Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, the highest white light. Any last cards that you want to show us before we close off this reading? I think that's all. People, places, things may be trying to pull you down to tackle you, but it's not going to happen. You are loved, you are protected, you are guided. Holy Spirit, guardian angels of the highest by light. Any last cards? Any last cards to close up this reading? The three swords here, this could be heartbreak, disappointment, betrayal, but I'm not really getting that. I'm getting more so the picture here, just again... It's been so clear, this joy, this celebration, this friendship, this commitment, whatever this may be. Two children, a boy and a girl, masculine and feminine, playing together, having a wonderful time. That's all I got for you. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching. Thank you for spending time with me here and the Zebra Tarot Lounge. And uh, for any of y'all, if you would like free readings, my email is in the description box below. Reach out to me, let me know what you need, what you got going on, and I'll be happy to tap into your energy personally with your permission. And I'll be able to get you some own personal guidance for you, whatever it is that you need. I'm here for you. I'll be happy to be of service to you. That's all I got, and I'll catch y'all later.